The electric field integral equation is a relationship that allows the calculation of an electric field E generated by an electric current distribution J. Topic: <laughs> Derivation. When all quantities in the frequency domain are considered, a time dependency E plus J W T display style e caret plus J W T that is suppressed throughout is assumed. Beginning with the Maxwell equations relating the electric and magnetic field and assuming linear homogeneous media with permeability mu display style mu and permittivity e display style epsilon times e equals minus j omega mu h display style nabla times text bf e equals j omega mu text bf h times h equals j omega e e plus j Display style nabla times text bf h equals j omega epsilon text bf e plus text bf j. Following the third equation involving the divergence of h, h equals zero. Display style nabla c d o t text bf h equals zero. By vector calculus, we can write any divergenceless vector as the curl of another vector. Hence, times a equals h. Display style nabla times text bf a equals text bf h, where a is called the magnetic vector potential. Substituting this into the above, we get times e plus j. Omega mu a equals zero. Display style nabla times text bf e plus j omega mu text bf a equals zero. And any curl-free vector can be written as the gradient of a scalar. Hence, e plus j omega mu a equals Minus phi display style text bf e plus j omega mu text bf a equals nabla phi, where phi display style phi is the electric scalar potential. These relationships now allow us to write times times a minus k two a equals j minus j omega e phi display style nabla times nabla times text bf a k caret two text bf a equals text bf j j omega epsilon nabla phi where k equals omega mu E display style k equals omega sqrt mu epsilon, which can be rewritten by vector identity as a minus two a minus k two a equals j minus j omega e phi. Display style nabla nabla c d o t text b f a nabla caret two text b f a k caret two text b f a equals text b f j j omega epsilon nabla phi. As we have only specified the curl of a, we are free to define the divergence and choose the following. A equals minus j omega e phi 
Display style nabla c d o t text b f a equals j omega epsilon phi, which is called the Lorenz gauge condition. The previous expression for a now reduces to two a plus k two a equals minus j. Display style nabla caret two text bf a plus k caret two text bf a equals text bf j, which is the vector Helmholtz equation. The solution of this equation for a is a r equals one four pi j r g r r D R display style text bf a text bf r equals frac one four pi i i i n t text bf j text bf r caret prime g text bf r text bf r caret prime d text bf r caret prime where g r r Display style g text bf r text bf r caret prime is the three-dimensional homogeneous Green's function given by g r r equals e minus j k r minus r r minus r Display style g text bf r text bf r caret prime equals frac e caret j k text bf r text bf r caret prime text bf r text bf r caret prime. We can now write what is called the electric field integral equation E F I E relating the electric field E to the vector potential A E equals minus j Omega mu o plus one j omega e o display style text bf e equals j omega mu text bf a plus frac one j omega epsilon nabla nabla c d o t text bf a. We can further represent the E F I E in the dyadic form as e equals minus j omega mu v d r g r r j r Display style text bf e equals j omega mu int underscore v d text bf r caret prime text bf g text bf r text bf r caret prime c d o t text bf j text bf r caret prime, where g r r display style text bf g text bf r text bf r caret prime here is the dyadic homogeneous Green's function given by g r r equals one four pi i plus k two g r r Display style text bf g text bf r text bf r caret prime equals frac one four pi left text bf i plus frac nabla nabla k caret two right g text bf r text bf r caret prime. Topic interpretation. The EFIE describes a radiated field E given a set of sources J, and as such it is the fundamental equation used in antenna analysis and design. It is a very general relationship that can be used to compute the radiated field of any sort of antenna once the current distribution on it is known. 
The most important aspect of the EFIE is that it allows us to solve the radiation, scattering problem in an unbounded region, or one whose boundary is located at infinity. For closed surfaces, it is possible to use the magnetic field integral equation or the combined field integral equation, both of which result in a set of equations with improved condition number compared to the EFIE. However, the MFIE and CFIE can still contain resonances. In scattering problems, it is desirable to determine an unknown scattered field E S Display style e underscore s that is due to a known incident field e i display style e underscore i. Unfortunately, the EFIE relates the scattered field to J, not the incident field, so we do not know what J is. This sort of problem can be solved by imposing the boundary conditions on the incident and scattered field, allowing one to write the EFIE in terms of E I display style E underscore I and J alone. Once this has been done, the integral equation can then be solved by a numerical technique appropriate to integral equations such as the method of moments. Topic Notes By the Helmholtz theorem a vector field is described completely by its divergence and curl. As the divergence was not defined, we are justified by choosing the Lorenz gauge condition above provided that we consistently use this definition of the divergence of A in all subsequent analysis. However, other choices for a display style nabla cdot math bf a are just as valid and lead to other equations, which all describe the same phenomena, and the solutions of the equations for any choice of O display style nabla c d o t math b f o lead to the same electromagnetic fields, and the same physical predictions about the fields and charges are accelerated by them. It is natural to think that if a quantity exhibits this degree of freedom in its choice, then it should not be interpreted as a real physical quantity. After all, if we can freely choose a display style nabla c d o t math b f o to be anything, then a display style math b f a is not unique. One may ask, what is the true value of Display style math bf a measured in an experiment. If a display style math bf a is not unique, then the only logical answer must be that we can never measure the value of a display style math bf a. On this basis, it is often stated that it is not a real physical quantity, and it is believed that the fields e display style math bf e and b display style math bf b are the true physical quantities however there is at least one experiment in which value of the e display style math bf e and b display style math bf b are both zero at the location of a charged particle, but it is nevertheless affected by the presence of a local magnetic vector potential. See the Aharonov Bohm effect for details. Nevertheless, even in the Aharonov Bohm experiment, the divergence O never enters the calculations, only times O along the path of the particle determines the measurable effect. 